Hello, my name is Jacob Moles. I am part of the game development team here in Richmond, Indiana at Purdue Polytechnic. And my role this semester is level designer. Um, to get more of like a feel for what it might be in an actual game studio, we're going more looking what jobs are out there, picking those jobs and assigning roles like that. I am the level designer. I am responsible for uh, creating the base uh, file and level to uh, place assets and then build the game from there. So basically I am the front and back like I start it. Everybody else has their input. Uh, we work with other classes. We create assets then they give those assets to me, I put them into the game, and I set up the game that way. And so this is the second version of the game. The first version uh, was our first prototype, obviously, but we found some feedback through our student showcase last semester, uh, other people playing the game, uh, what we could do to improve the game and this is how it, it looks uh, thus far I'll play it for you and uh, our biggest thing last semester is we created the recording studio the smokestack building and the piano building down there to the north um, our like big thing was we could actually walk into a building we figured out how to uh, create a collision and uh, make a building that you can walk in side and this is a variety of assets created by several classes I collected those assets and placed them into the game if any materials or colors weren't matching then I uh, fixed them and applied them in Unreal such as uh, this trumpet here. Uh, the material that came with it was kind of more like a yellow color. Um, I have a uh, reflection sphere around the entire map so anything that has a uh, material ref reflectivity uh, on it in Unreal I can place that and it can be a nice bright gold color for a trumpet. And the first prototype, it was kind of dark, and I was wondering why it was dark. And learning on uh, post-processing at the end of last semester and into this semester with uh, learning, remembering the uh, reflection sphere, left that in there, and now the gold actually looks gold, and it looks like a trumpet. And so, like I. Uh, gathered all the assets together and placed them here in the recording studio to make it look like it's uh, lived in or has been busy doing stuff. And so that is the recording studio. Come out, there's uh, other assets. We have uh, some cars, we have uh, train tracks for the train, then we have a uh, uh, low poly Model T truck over here, which I modeled. This is also the smokestack building that I, which I also modeled. Um, trying to focus on creating uh, low poly assets to be less resource heavy on the uh, Unreal Engine. So our game runs faster. This was a uh, first prototype of what I could do with fewer polygons, making my own textures, and creating that way. Biggest thing was I was able to create a round tire and a custom tread. Next we have uh, the smokestack building. And if I go back here, And back up, you can see the smokestack. There it is. Go up the hill. But as you can see, the textures of the brick 
Come on, walk up the hill. For the smokestack building are not there. When I re imported them in from the last prototype to this prototype, the textures broke. But as it stands right now, we are uh, in the process of modeling the next versions of most of the buildings, like the piano building and the recording studio. Probably going to stay the same because they're a pretty good model right now. Um, but other buildings, such as the one right there, fixing the textures here, there will be changes. Then I also have a train tracks up here. And as you can see, the reflective sphere really takes uh, the steel material to the next level. So it actually looks like train tracks. But there will also be medallions scattered throughout the level where the player can go and collect. That is the object of the game. The medallions are the pictures of the records in the Walk of Fame down there in the gorge right now. When we went our, to our in-person visit to the gorge, we took pictures of the medallions, took measurements of them and the buildings, spacing between buildings, measurements of even the, an actual brick so we can get the scaling right. Uh, me and Trenton were the uh, main two dev, game dev people last semester and we stayed two three hours in the gorge last semester taking measurements going with a tape measure or just walking uh, with our feet in front of us taking measurements that way getting as much data as we could and then creating the game exit out of that but as you can see there is this map underneath and to be more accurate is the main focus of this next version of the game I found this picture on uh, Basecamp which is a website we use to communicate for the rest of the team and other classes gather assets research and in that research somebody found a picture of an illustration for a uh, building layout in the surrounding area of the Star Valley Gorge. And based on that, I created an asset, applied the picture to a flat plane, imported that into Unreal so I could have my reference picture in Unreal with me to see if I can properly scale the terrain to what it is actually in the Star Valley Gorge. Then I have also placed a water material for the river. And I do know how to create this water swimmable so the player can actually go down into the water and there'd be like a resistance so it would feel like it's water. And then add a post-processing box around it so when you go down into the water, the color changes from bright and sunny up here to bluish down below. We are in the process of getting sounds for the game, sounds for medallions, maybe ambient music in the background, things like that. If you like go on next to the train, then you'd hear train noises and mechanical uh, sounds and everything like that to kind of liven up and make it seem like uh, it's a busy day in the Star Valley Gorge. Had a lot of fun with this project. I have learned quite a lot about Unreal Engine. And I can't wait to see what the future holds for this game. I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. And thank you for your time.